the book group video. We hope that you will find this to be a fun project, even though it is a group project. Uh, you are going to teach a chapter of the Egan book, but here's the trick. You are not allowed to use direct instruction. So nowhere on your video should you be standing up and saying, this is problem-based learning and explaining it. Um, you will do it through modeling. So somebody in your group or maybe a friend uh, is going to hold your camera. Cell phones work awesome. Um, like they're a fly on the wall and they are watching uh, that style of teaching. So let's use um, PBL, problem-based learning, just as an example. So you are doing an example lesson of PBL and you should be doing something that has an actual objective uh, that one of you in the group might actually be teaching. Uh, you shouldn't teach something silly, uh, please. And then, uh, although your video can be fun and silly, your classmates are going to watch it. But, you know, it's a fly on the wall watching it happening through modeling. Now, there's a lot of nuances, of course, that watchers might not pick up on. So what we're asking that you do is that you include annotations to the video. So it's something that you can do in YouTube, um, which basically puts little post-it notes on the video. So you're like, notice the teacher is not talking and there's a little post-it note there. Notice the students are given a challenging problem. Um, and so that you're pointing out what's going on in the video through post-it notes of what the viewer should be observing. Um, but the whole thing, the whole thing is through demonstration not through explicit instruction. So that's the first thing is the video, and it shouldn't be a long video. Nobody wants to watch a long video, just long enough to get the idea of what that instructional model looks like. Then your classmates are going to watch your, your group video. You guys are going to make a video. Now, formative assessment is what you use as a teacher to help make sure that your students are learning what you are trying to teach them. So you're going to make your own formative assessment quiz. Now you're going to make it on a Google form and you're going to give the quiz to the class. They're going to watch your video and they're going to take your formative assessment quiz. And so they should be able to show you that they learned that chapter. Um, and you may or may not have done a good job of that. So uh, we do want you to look at the quiz results as you should as a teacher and say, you know, what did they do well on? What did they not do well on? And how could I have done that better? Why, why did they not do well? And so then you're going to analyze the results of, of the form. And so on your digital portfolio, you're going to embed your video. You're going to embed the form. And then you're going to uh, write your reflection, as you would on every page. Every page, not every quest every page of your digital portfolio, and it should include a detailed analysis of the formative assessment quiz that you gave to the class. Did you do a good job of teaching the chapter based on the evidence of the quiz? So you're going to have to write a quiz, administer the quiz, and look at the results, and then write about it.